G'day guys, welcome to Lucy's channel, Lucy Lane, the Queen of Belmain. Today, we are off into the city and we are going to the rocks. We are going to explore the area and also try out the dog friendly cafe called the Tea Cozy. Go back to, never wanted to end it like we did. I guess shit happens for a reason. But it's like something. Now, for those dog lovers out there that can't leave their pups at home, the best way to travel around Sydney is utilizing the ferry system. There are no dramas with getting your dog on there as long as it's not aggressive and you can control its blood. I still see your silhouette. Why don't we go back to? Why don't we go back to your bedroom? Okay, so the tea cozy gets a 10 out of 10 from us. It is like stepping back in time and having morning tea at grandma's. So guys, we made it to the tea cozy. Number one reason why we come to the tea cozy is because you can bring your hairy daughters. Also dress for the occasion. He's currently eyeballing everyone for their food. Your order just rocked up, City. What, do, what have you got? I'm so excited. I have gluten free and dairy free scones with coconut cream and strawberry jam. Yeah. Allergy friendly. Now, what did you have to do to get the gluten free scones? I had to send a text message by 4, 7 a.m. this morning, so I had to set an alarm on a Sunday morning to send a message to get these so we could come today. <laughs> they brought out an extra scone for Zach because of the weight. <laughs> I said, he doesn't need an extra one. guys we've just hammered these three scones now it pays to be patient when you get your scones because mine were cooking and they were like a little bit timid to let me know that like I had to wait an extra 10 minutes for my scones well I was very good about it because I'm an underscan top bloke but we got a third scone for free which Lucy and I are going to share now now the most important thing is does Lucy approve Please, you want a scan? Yes. Here you go. Lucy approves. Mmm. I told you, you're gonna get fat. That's all you get.
for a delicious meal, it is time to burn off those calories and explore the rocks. A great building to walk up and visit in the rocks is called the Sirius Building. This building was designed by an architect, Teo Goffers, in 1978 for the Housing Commission of New South Wales. And it is notable for being the only high-rise development in the rocks. In 2018, the derelict building won the prestigious Enduring Architect Award from the New South Wales Institute of Architecture. It is also worth noting that the last remaining resident was shipped out in 2017 and the building's 79 apartments remain empty to this day.